tactical battle games are literally foreign to me. So it looks like I'll be traveling to some unknown territory with this one because today I'll be reviewing Aegis, combining robot strategy game. Aegis, or Aegis, uh, I like Aegis better, it sounds nicer, is a two to four player tactical battle game that plays around 30 to 60 minutes. This is done by building a squad of robots together and destroying your opponent robots. While it may not be a good fit for families, this makes for a great game night experience. Keep in mind, if you are new, there is a lot of information to soak in while learning this game. But I'll try to make some sense of this, so let's check out how to play. This is Aegis. And this is what comes inside of it. The hexagonal board, the terrain pieces that you could set realistically anywhere, but there's also some slots where you could fit them if you'd like. Um, character or robot pieces stand, stand out. They're robot standees with the standee piece, as you can see here. Cards that correlate to said piece. Hero cards and hero card placements, including combined cards that you could tell in here, and I'll go over a card in a second dice a full box full of all the standees and the character cards and there's a, almost like a hundred in here life counters this is for like energy sources that you'll have on your board as you see here bam abilities and effects and yeah i mean realistically this is the game so how does the game work what you're doing is looking at your character and doing one of two things you're moving and you're attacking so when you move, you're going to look at how far he can move. For this character, it's four. So I'll grab my character and move him four. And keep in mind, your next attack, your, your next action can be attack, but you have to be in range. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break down what a card looks like. So we're talking range here. So what does that mean? Well, when you look at the attacks, you'll see multiple attacks. And starting with range, it tells you how far that they can attack from, the damage or ability that it'll do to them what you have to roll in order to land that attack. So this this attack needs three dice to land over three in order for you to do one damage in a range of three. Okay, what else is on a card? Well, you have their special, their life, their, their movement, and their energy, okay? So three energy for a movement of three, and then if I want to attack, I can, but I can't right now because I'm not in range. But basically, you'll be moving your characters down the hexagonal board to get to their characters who are also moving towards you. You want to defeat their characters. Now, I know he should have five here, but this is just for an example. Let's get them pretty close here and show you what it looks like. So here we have two characters, right? So let's just say he just moved. He did his movement up to four, and he did. let's just say he did three. So I took three energy away from my energy board, which you saw earlier. But let's say he wants to attack now because he could follow up with an attack. Once you attack, you can't move anymore, but since I was able to move first, I'm going to attack. I'm going to use this attack here. So I need three dice to roll over three. So I got two. So that does two damage in a range of three, and he's definitely in range to this character. So he get two damage, two damage done to him. Now let's say he didn't move right and why i'm saying this is his specialty is overload which if he does not move in his turn he can actually attack twice if he didn't move i can do that second round now there's a couple things to look at at cards now let's bring out another card here you see how it's blue instead of green or for colorblind it's a different shape than what you see here that means that all the dice have to land over two with this one specifically it's any dice over three so that's something, and another thing too is, is look, this isn't a damage anymore. This is actually, this is repair. So each card has a different strategy to them. This card too does a drain. So he drains from characters and has a range of four and has different specialties versus this one. So each robot is very special in their own way. Now, what else can we talk about? Well, each hero also does something unique. This one specifically doesn't have a machine. Some of the heroes have their own specific machines, but this one does not. So she can actually take control of a guard class 
as seen here, giving them this ability. But not every hero does that. So there's plenty of ways to play this strategically, depending on which hero you are, which, which one of the almost 100 robots you have in your group, and how they all, all five of them, will interact together. And when you have two robots right next to each other, as seen here, you can actually, you could pay the cost on this board, which will, in turn, turn those two robots into this one robot. Now, of course, there's a lot more to the game, but luckily there are some resource cards available that literally break down all the action types that are on cards that we saw earlier, the attributions in each attack, combining how line of sight works and how the turns work. After you've moved all your robots and have finished your turn, it's the other player's turns, and this can go up to four. The other side of the of the the other side of this board actually features corners for each player. And one last thing is that when you start your turns over, so like you know, let's say I've depleted all my energy. Uh, when everybody's played their turn, go ahead and fuel back up for the next turn. So everything costs energy, and that is how you play Aegis. Kill everybody else and stay alive. I really like the game. I'm surprised by how long I postponed playing tactical games, and I am hoping that other tactical play I am hoping that other tactical games play just like this. The reason why I was not playing these kind of games is because of its accessibility and a lack of experience. I don't even know what to do. But Aegis caught my attention. It is a game that attracts good graphics, a good rulebook, while long, and breaks down everything really well with what I assume to be is really easy gameplay. It's easy to learn with the right board game experience and it's just plain fun. I like the way that each robot specifically is adapted to its own strategy. Support robots, damage robots, defensive robots, they all coexist. So there's definitely a solid dynamic behind using and creating the group that you want to play with. There are even groups pre-made for players who haven't really experienced much of this game, if not tactical games. And speaking of dynamic, go ahead, don't be shy, mix and match. Even without the robot combining, I had loads of fun playing a couple back-to-backs with a few of my friends. Each set of robots really asks for a completely different strategy playthrough, and there's like 70 to 100 robots, so uh, so, have it your way. One thing I, I don't really like, and this could be, you know, across all tactical games, is I felt that it was, I felt that the board itself was a bit dull. Uh, this is what I initially think, and of course, one thing I felt could have been changed or spruced up a little bit is the board itself. Now, this could span through all tactical games, I'm sure, but the the board was a little... Uh, empty in my opinion. The board is a, a hexagonal game with some terrain pieces that you could throw on. But hey, this is my opinion and this is my site. I also felt that there weren't a lot of combination robots that can be in the game. So, you know, if you are trying to stray away from some of the preset robots, you might find a harder time making robots combine, which again, like I stated earlier, does not matter because I still had loads of fun even though I wasn't creating some level two, three, or four robots. I don't even think they have levels. I just like to say it like that because you go from one type of robot to a combined kind of robot. In my opinion, that is leveling up. And even when I did power up, uh, sometimes I felt like the uh, power level of this combined robot, of this combined robot just does not compare to the two robots I once had out in the field. You know, if you cast the biggest net, you may win. But I digress. And my final thoughts on Aegis, this is a tactical board game that is great for beginners who are getting into the tactical feel of gaming. Um, now, of course, this opinion has literally just been created out of this one tactical game I played, but this one tactical game I played actually got me intrigued. So maybe I'll reach out to play other tactical games, or 
maybe I'll just keep playing Ages. Because I've been playing board games for a liberal three years, so I'm definitely very seasoned when it comes to hardcore gaming. As you can tell in my, my uh, blogs and YouTube that I play a lot of hardcore games. Aegis will give you the satisfaction of teamwork with a bit of good night fun. Just make sure someone knows the game before you pop this bad boy out. And uh, especially for casual gamers out there, I definitely recommend giving this a try if you are trying to get a little um, deeper into heavy gaming. I like it. You might like it. What do you think? Do you like robots? I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification button for when all my videos come out, which should happen every few days. Uh, likes and comments help me. It makes me interact with you guys. I would love to have a conversation. Uh, and if you are enjoying these, let me know. Thanks for watching.